Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of Econometrics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I am going to discuss the meaning of heteroscedasticity. In first five videos, I have discussed the idea of econometrics, simple linear regression model with, it, with its assumptions, ordinary least square method, coefficient of determination, and based linear unbiased estimate. So uh, today I am going to uh, discuss the meaning of heteroscedasticity, how to visualize the issue of heteroscedasticity, examples, pure versus impure heteroscedasticity, and sources of heteroscedasticity. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on SPSS, RStudio, Econometrics, and Economics. Let's begin with the introduction. The ordinary least square method is used to estimate the regression coefficients alpha and beta. We have discussed this in our earlier videos. So OLS method is used under certain assumptions. And the Gauss-Markov theorem says that the OLS estimate for regression coefficients gives the best linear unbiased estimator. So OLS estimators are blue. So if assumptions are violated, if assumptions are violated, we are not going to get the best linear unbiased estimators. So the OLS estimators are no longer blue if OLS assumptions are violated. So one of the assumptions of OLS is homoscedasticity. And this assumption is about the variance of error terms or residuals. So OLS assume that the variance of the error term is constant. And therefore variance of mu i is sigma square, which is constant for all i. And this assumption is known as homoscedasticity. Now, what do we mean by homoscedasticity? So homoscedasticity means equal scatter. There is no systematic change in the spread of residuals with the changes in predicted values. That is the idea of homoscedasticity. But if variance of the error term is not constant, then we have the problem of heteroscedasticity. That means the assumption of homoscedasticity is violated. So here you can see variance of mu i is sigma i square. In equation one, we have sigma square. But now we have sigma i square. So heteroscedasticity means unequal scatter. And therefore, we have this systematic change in the spread of residuals, in the spread of error terms with changes in predicted values. So variability of residuals increases or decreases over the range of predicted values and therefore we have the problem of heteroscedasticity. So when we are talking about heteroscedasticity, we are, we, we are talking about the residuals and predicted values, the behavior of residuals with predicted values. Now, how to visualize the problem of heteroscedasticity? So, we use residual cross predicted value plot. So, we can plot the or we can use the scatter plot to visualize the uh, problem of heteroscedasticity. So, see this diagram. On horizontal axis, we have predicted value, on an, and on vertical axis, we have residual. So, we are using residual cross predicted value plot. Now, here we do not have any change in vertical range of the residuals as the predicted value increases and therefore there is no systematic change. There is no pattern. So this diagram represents homoscedasticity. On the other hand, we have figure 2 that shows heteroscedasticity. So here you can say that vertical range of the residuals increases as the predicted values increases. And therefore, we have the systematic change in the residuals. So we use residual cross predicted value plot 
to visualize the problem of heteroscedasticity. Let's understand the meaning of heteroscedasticity with the help of examples. So first example is related to the consumption expenditure and income. Homoscedasticity assumes that there is no change in consumption pattern with increase or decrease in income. But in reality, variation in consumption pattern increases with income. So higher the income, higher the variation in the consumption expenditure and lower the income, lower the variation in the consumption expenditure. So that causes heteroscedasticity problem. Second example is associated with writing practice and mistakes. So when we assume homoscedasticity, it means that there is no change in mistakes with writing practice. But in reality, higher the practice, lower the mistakes. And therefore, again, we have the problem of heteroscedasticity in our data. Let's understand the difference between pure and impure heteroscedasticity. So we have the problem of pure heteroscedasticity where we have uh, specified our regression model correctly. That means we have incorporated or, or we have specified our dependent and independent variables correctly and still we have non-constant variance. So our model specification is correct and we are encountering the problem of heteroscedasticity. On the other hand, we have impure heteroscedasticity, which is associated with incorrect model specification. So if you do not incorporate the important variables in the regression model, then the omitted variables may affect the outcome or the effect of these omitted variables are absorbed into the error term. And therefore, we have the problem of heteroscedasticity. So pure heteroscedasticity is associated with right specification model. And impure heteroscedasticity is associated with incorrect specification uh, model. Right? So what are the sources of heteroscedasticity? Why we have the problem of heteroscedasticity in the data? First is cross-sectional data. So we are going to uh, face this problem uh, when we have the cross-sectional data. So it, it is more observed in cross-sectional data than the time series data. So we are not saying that you we do not have the problem of heteroscedasticity in time series data, but cross-sectional cross data has more chances of having heteroscedasticity issue. Second, outliers. So the the value of outliers are much different from other observations and therefore they can cause heteroscedasticity problem. Third, as we have discussed, the incorrect specification of the model because the effect of omitted variables will be captured in the error term. Fourth, skewed distribution of independent variable. If our independent variable follows positively skewed or negatively skewed distribution, then we, we might have the problem of heteroscedasticity. And fifth is incorrect transformation. Sometimes we use the, or we transform our data. But if you, if you transform your data incorrectly, then you are going to get, you are going to encounter the problem of heteroscedasticity. So instead of using a log linear model, you are using linear model, or you are using first differences, so if you have not correctly transformed your data, you might have the problem of heteroscedasticity. So here we have this sources. So this is the idea of heteroscedasticity, the meaning of heteroscedasticity, examples, visualization, pure versus impure heteroscedasticity and sources. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.